This case is called Barrett esophagus, and let's try to explain the concept hopefully very clearly. This is an endoscopous view of the esophagus. Perhaps it's the distal esophagus near the stomach, but please note that the majority of this has kind of a smooth, shiny appearance like squamous mucosa, because it is, and part of it has more of a hemorrhagic, mucousy type of appearance because it's not squamous mucosa, which the esophagus should have, but it is gastric type mucosa or columnar or glandular. Here is another example of Barrett esophagus, perhaps from an autopsy. Here we have squamous, which is this nice and shiny part, and here towards the lower part of the esophagus, this squamous portion here and here and here becomes lesser and lesser, and it's replaced by a gastric or glandular type of mucosa. The concept of Barrett esophagus is very simple. The normal squamous mucosa of the esophagus is replaced by glandular mucosa as an adaptive process, usually because there is a reflux of gastric material into the esophagus, and therefore the esophagus responds uh, to handle this gastric material by becoming more gastric-like and less squamous-like. That's exactly the concept of Barrett esophagus. It is a uh, adaptive mechanism. It is a gastric epithelial metaplasia of a normal squamous surface. Here we have the microscopic views now and they're not uh, entirely uh, too exciting. Here we have a little remnant in the esophagus of some squamous mucosa, which of course the esophagus should be, but please notice we have these glandular uh, pits and glands like we normally see in the stomach. This is the uh, portion of gastric metaplasia here. In this piece of the esophagus, it's almost all gastric-like, and in this piece of the esophagus, it's all gastric-like. If you only saw this by itself, you might think it was a gastric biopsy. But indeed, all these biopsies were from the esophagus, from an Barrett's esophagus, or glandular metaplasia. Thank you very much.